Between the House of Commons, House of Lords, Council, Mayoral and devolved government elections, we could easily be forced to rely on four or five different voting systems in five years' time. Doesn't this jeopardise the public's understanding and participation in democracy? The short answer is no, I don't think it does. We already have a very large number of um, electoral systems in use in the United Kingdom. Um, there was a big civil service report just over a year ago that looked at all the different systems. So, for example, in Northern Ireland we use the single transferable vote for uh, electing the Assembly and for European elections. Uh, obviously, in Britain we use... Um, in, well, in England, we use first past, in England and Wales we use first past the post for council elections. In Scotland we now use a single transferable vote for council elections. We use one type of the additional member system for Scottish parliamentary elections and a different for Welsh Assembly elections. Yes, it appears confusing when I just rattle off a list of different electoral systems, but what we found in, in, in practice is where even where people um, are using different electoral systems on the, f on the same day, this doesn't actually confuse people. They're more than capable of recognising that there are different systems and understanding how to use them, because most systems from a, from a voter's point of view, are quite simple. For example, the single transferable vote system that I spoke about is basically listing numbers, which we all do on a very, very regular basis when we're doing lists. It's very, very simple. How you count it is rather more complicated, but from a voter's point of view, there are lots of systems that are actually quite simple, even though they can sound quite complicated. But also, I think fundamentally, voters don't get given enough credit. Robin Cook's argument about proportional representation, whenever anybody said, oh, the public won't understand it, it's too complicated, it's too difficult, he always pointed out that they never say that to people going into betting shops, that you can't do an accumulator bet because you're not going to understand what the odds are. People understand all kinds of complicated statistical operations, whether it's football league tables or betting in shop, in, in, on horse racing. In, in our daily lives, we all deal with quite complex situations. There's no reason at all why we can't also do very basic things in terms of voting.